Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the January 2017 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get started. Here's number 18. Andy has $310 in his account. Each week, W, he withdraws $30 for his expenses. Uh, which expression could be used if he wanted to find how much money he had left after eight weeks? Uh, 310 minus 8W, 280 plus, plus 30 times W minus 1, 310W minus 30, or 280 minus 30, W minus 1. Okay. So what can we do here? Let's see. Try the problem on your own. See if you get the same answer as we do. Um, and uh, hit the like button if you do get the same answer. I do notice that, for example, in uh, well, if some of these answers might not make sense from from basic principles, like for example, this one three ten w means that you're multiplying the original account by the number of weeks, uh, the original account balance by the number of weeks, which doesn't give you a number that's related to the problem at all. There's the three ten in the original, but then the withdrawal has nothing to do with the original balance, so that's not the answer. Um, now let's see if we can go one at a time. 310 minus 8W. Notice we said after eight weeks. Eight, eight is the number of weeks. And W is also the number of weeks. So eight is actually the value of W after eight weeks. So this is weeks times weeks is weeks squared. Weeks squared subtracted from an amount of money isn't a real thing. You can't subtract the square of a time from an amount of money, right? So that's not it. Now let's try this one, 280 plus 30 times W minus 1. This one doesn't satisfy my, my gut check. Uh, if I if I know that eight uh, after eight weeks he's, ta he's been taking out money for a while, I know his balance is going to go down. Uh, in fact, it's going to go by 38 times. So his mo his money is less than 310. But if I plug in 8 into this problem, 280 plus 30 times W minus 1, 8 minus 1 is 7. 30 times 7 is positive. 280 is positive. This is great, and this is greater than 310. So that's not it. So that remains this one. But maybe we could figure out why this is this is the answer. Because the, uh, the answer that I would normally get is third, 310, which is the original balance. And then we're subtracting, we're withdrawing 30 dollars each week. So the amount subtracted is then 30 times the number of weeks is 30W. Right? That's the answer I would get, but this is a little different. So what are these numbers? 280 is the looks like this is the balance after the first week, right? So balance after week one. Right, and then this is the withdrawal rate. It's being multiplied this 30 being multiplied by a variable, so it has to be a withdrawal rate. Um Oh, or it has to be a rate of change. And in fact, he's withdrawing 30, so that does match. So this is the withdrawal rate. And then what is this W minus 1 instead of W? Why W minus 1? This is the number of weeks after week 1. So this matches the number of weeks after week one times 30 is the total withdrawals after week one and 280 is the balance after week one. So that works. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're watching for one of our playlists, hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now. If not, go to youtube.com, search for JuanTutors.com, click on the name and definitely hit the subscribe button and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos and scroll to the bottom. All of our playlists are going to be right at the bottom. Just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there. And if you feel like you need a little extra boost with tutoring, go to our website, check out our testimonials. And if you feel like we're right for you, you can click on the contact us link and contact us straight from the page. Thanks for watching.